Today I'm still working on the Alti motor, known as a free energy generator. What I'm doing today is I'm investigating this coil, the stator field coil. If you take a close look, you'll notice we have two wires here, another two here, and another two next to it. So we have six wires on the stator field. Normally you will have three like we have in this motor. So we have to detect which two wires are the end of each one of these three stator field. So you can see we already have it figured out already and you could do this with a voltmeter. You'll be able to put the positive and negative and set the multi-voltmeter on the ohm setting. And when you see that meter gives you a signal, you know these two terminals are on the same circuit. If you were to do it with these two, you will not get a signal. So you will know they're not on the same circuit. Now that we figure out this 6G stator field, and we have configured it to a 3G stator field, it means that the field will be striking the armature twice at different location when it needs to do so instead of it striking it once with one wire. So what I'm trying to explain to you here is in your normal alternator, you will have three wires coming out of the stator field. These are AC wires. And these three wires will connect to your brush controller motor for triggering the magnetic energizing the field for turning the rotor of the motor. Now we have two sets of 3G stator field which we could call a 6G stator field. So a 6G stator field, let's take these two wires. When the coil is strike by the controller, it could strike on this position and this position at the same time, which means it's being hit in the magnet or the electromagnetic field on the armature in two location. And this is what's gonna increase your torque load and speed. Now you have to understand that the speed of the motor will have to do with the controller and making sure that you have this Hall effect sensor. So you're going to have three sensor for monitoring 180 degree position and then two of these wires are going to power up the sensor and this is going to relay information to the controller based on where the rotor position is during high speed rotation. Most of the time, the Hall effect sensor brush controller is capable of much higher speed and torque than a controller that does not have a Hall effect sensor. So another thing that you need to do with these stator feel and the armature when you remove them, regardless if it's an electromagnetic armature or a permanent magnet armature is that you want to make sure you varnish or PVC glue. Just coat all the metal surface so this way you don't get any rust because these metal have the tendency of becoming very rusty once it's removed from the enclosure of the alternator. So that's what I wanted to show you is now we have to go and solder these three wires together and connect the ends each one to our controller feel wire and we're going to try this in the motor to see if we could get more power more torque we also have to look at the wire you see the gauge of the wire the size of the wire it will also mean that the controller will require a higher wattage instead of a 500 might need a 1500 or a 2000 watt controller to drive these wires because you might need more voltage. But this is all for testing and we're going to find out in the final run.